Good day. This is a worksheet that somebody sent me that they wanted explained. The question says, simplify without using a calculator. Before we explain these expressions, please remember if there's anything in school mathematics that you're not sure about, you can send your problem with a WhatsApp photo to this number. Then we'll try and solve your problem and send back an answer to you as soon as possible for free. They say simplify without using a calculator. So here's our first expression. If you get a divide line like in fractions, you first work out the top, then you work out the bottom, and then you bring them together later. Please go and look at the video, Exponents Summary. That will tell you where all these moves come from that we're going to use. Firstly, we say 1 to the power of 2011 is 1. 1 to the power of anything is always 1. And I keep the bottom as it was. Then I move the 2011 to the power of minus 1 up to get the exponent positive. And the final answer is 2011. Now we're going to simplify this expression. If we simplify an expression and there's a decimal in exponents, we usually change it to a common fraction first. That will give me 125 over 1,000 to the power of minus 3. Then you get 1 over 8 to the power of minus 3. Then we times that minus 3 in with a little 1 in the air, and minus 3 with a little 1 in the air, and I get 1 to the minus 3, 8 to the minus 3. Then I can take this 8 to the minus 3 up and it becomes 8 to the positive 3. 1 to the minus 3 down becomes 1 to the positive 3. Our final answer is 8 to the power of 3. In the next expression, we have negative exponents with multiplies in between. So, we keep the 6 there, take the 3 to the minus 3 up, it becomes 3 to the positive 3. That guy comes down, becomes 2 to the positive 2. Then we work out, 3 to the power of 3 becomes 27, and 2 to the power of 2 becomes 4. And our final answer is 81 over 2. Over here you can say 2 goes in here twice and 2 goes in here 3 times. And then 3 times 27 will give me 81 and that 2 just stays there. We usually don't simplify any further in high school because we're going to get x's and y's later. But if you really want to, you can write 40 and a half as your final answer. And remember, you're not allowed to use your calculator, it says up here. Now we're going to simplify this expression. You must see that there is two parts to it. The first thing I did is I changed this 4 to the 2 to the power of 2 and kept the rest, kept my multiply. I changed the 8 to the 2 to the power of 3 and kept the stuff on the outside. And I like to keep packets in brackets. We changed the 1 over 2 to the power of 2 to 2 to the power of minus 2 to get rid of the fraction. Then using exponent law 3, I times that 3 with a 2 and the 3 with a minus 2x. I got myself 2 to the power of 6, 3 times 2 is 6, minus 6x, 3 times minus 2x. I kept this one, and I times the minus 2 with a minus 3x. That gave me a 2 to the power of plus 6x. Now, because I am multiplying and my bases are the same, I can add my exponents. The stuff in the air, I can add. So I get 2 to the power of 6x from there, plus, because of the multiply, 6 minus 6x. Of course, that's a plus. Nothing will change in the brackets. I've got 6x minus 6x gives me nothing. And then plus 6 gives me 2 to the power of 6 as my final answer. Now we're going to simplify this expression without using a calculator. First thing I did is I broke these numbers into their prime factors. 8 becomes 2 to the power of 3. 32 becomes 2 to the power of 5 with that 2 on the outside still. The 9 becomes 3 squared, and the 27 becomes 3 to the power of 3. We kept the 2 to the power of 3. We took that 3, wrote it down, and we times 2 times 3 is a 6 in the air. Kept the 2 times the 5 times 2 gave me a 10 in the air, and kept the 3 to the power of 3. If you want to stick to the rules, you can say that 2 is divided by that 2, and then exponent law 2 says we can minus the exponent. So write 2 to the power of 3 minus 10, and then I wrote the 3 down with this exponent, and then I write minus 3 because I'm dividing, I can minus the exponents. That gives me 2 to the power of minus 7, 3 to the power of 3. And if I rewrite it with positive exponents, that 2 to the power of 7 just goes underneath. My final answer, 3 to the 3 over 2 to the 7. You can also have done it this way. You can say I can cancel this 2 to the power of 3, and then I put a little 1 there. And I cancel this, this gives me 2 to the power of 7 that's left. Cancel the 2 to the power of 3, put a little 1 here. Cancel there, we'll have 3 to the power of 3 left. That'll also give me the same answer, 3 to the power of 3 over 2 to the power of 7. 
Now I'll be very careful. I have found very few people in my life that could get these two sums right without being very careful. Again, we must simplify this without using a calculator. Because there is a plus between the two terms, it breaks the sum up into two pieces. Firstly, I wrote the 2 to the power of minus 4 with a positive exponent by bringing it under the line. Then 2 to the power of 4 becomes 16. Because I see fractions now, I make everything fractions. I make this 1 over 16 and this 16 over 1. Then my final answer is 16 and 1 16th. I've got 16 holes over here and 1 16th. That's 16 and 1 16th. People have trouble with these sums. This plus is confusing us. The minus, they don't know how to get it positive. Fractions is confusing. Do not let it. Stop the video and look how it worked. This next expression we must also simplify without using a calculator. And it's even more of a mouthful. You're not allowed to take the 3 to the minus 1 up to get it positive because this plus is holding these two guys captive down here. Like we said earlier in the video, we're going to work out the bottom, work out the top and bring them together later. I first wrote this 3 to the minus 1 as a third, kept the plus, and wrote this with a positive exponent under the line. The next thing we did, we kept the 1, that means divide, put the bracket around those because I've got to work them out first, and wrote the fraction plus sum there. Then again we kept the 1 and the divide, and we added these two fractions. We find the LCD, which is 12. 3 times 1 will give you 12, it's 4, so 1 times 4 is 4. 4 times 1 will give you 12, it's 3, so 1 times 3 is 3, with a plus in between. That will give us 1 divided by 7 over 12. Then we change the divide to a times, and tip this around. Then 1 times 12 over 7 is 12 over 7. Please indicate whether you liked or disliked the video, and subscribe to the channel.